Okay, so this was the question we were given. Um, can't really see what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, a random survey was conducted about gender and hair color. This table records the data. What is the probability that a randomly selected person has brown hair, given that the person selected is male? And as you can see, they did their circling. And you end up with the answer 548. And when you add the total up, you get 1,506. So you put that in the calculator as a fraction, and you get 0 0.363, which you see is one of your answers. So your answer is C. My problem says two different cylinders are shown. Both cylinders have the same height, x in meters, and the same radius velocity. The only difference is cylinder B has been slanted by 40 degrees, which statement below is true. And you know what it means. A or B because it doesn't have a bigger, more smaller volume. It stays the same. It, just because it's slanted doesn't mean it's going to lose volume or gain volume. And you know C wouldn't be the answer. That doesn't even make sense. So it's D. So you find the formula for the circle, which is circumference equals pi times the diameter. Okay, so the diameter, the radius is 11, so you, 11 plus 11 is 22, and that is 22 pi, and then you multiply that by 110 over 360, and that equals 21 over 18. The shaded area means that they're congruent, so M and I is congruent. The line indicates that these are the same, so D and L will be congruent. And P and J will be congruent. So we just got to find this like that. So J. So will be well the triangles and the circle are similar so you make a blank proportion and you put eight over two since they're in the same triangle and x over three since they're in the same triangle. And then you cross multiply and you solve for x. Two times x is two x and eight times three equals twenty four. You divide by two and you divide by two on each side. And two goes into four, 24 12 times, so x equals 12, and that's your answer. You're going to start labeling each one of these things with what is given. And so then you're asked to find what R is, and I wrote on the letters, but this is where R would be, right here. And so 35 is going to be wrong because these are similar triangles. And so when you label it, you don't do anything, and they're just the same. 30 is going to be your answer because they are similar and then the same. 80 is the wrong angle and 70 is the wrong angle. Side buildings is a letter each. So then you would draw a triangle and you put X and then 10 on the hypotenuse and 60 because it says degree angle with the ground. And then you would pick Seca no, you would put Secatoa and you pick sine or so. And then you put sine 60 over 1 equals x over 10. And then you would cross multiply that. And then you put this in the calculator, sine parenthesis 60 times 10, and you get 8.66 feet. Our problem is which statement best describes the graph of negative f uh, x plus 2. We got in uh, D because the graph is horizontally shifted, uh, left two units, and reflected over the exact axis. The best thing to do is learn the uh, of which spot is what.
At first we thought it was a vertical shift, but it was for some All right, so to start this problem, you just have to find the exponent for the, the square root of x. So the root of, the default root is, is two, so you get x, two, and then it's an understood one because it's the default exponent for everything. And then you just drop down the x to the fifth power. And then you would subtract the exponents. So I got my calculator and I subtracted one half and five because those are the exponents. I got negative nine over two. Sorry, you're right there. Okay. The negative nine over two, that would become the denominator, and we already know that A would not be the right answer, or B, because that's positive nine over two. So, the right answer would be Okay, well first we do 80 plus 80, which is 160, then we do 360 minus 160, which is 200, 200 minus 160 equals 40, and 40 divided by 2, by two equals 20.